Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is October 5th, 2017. Taking a look at our current solar conditions, our solar wind speed is at 380 kilometers per second with a density of 4.6. Looking at our sun today, we have two sunspot groupings, AR2683 and AR2682 turning away from Earth. Neither sunspot groupings pose any threats for any strong solar flare action. Looking at our KP indices, we are now at a one as our 24 hour max was sitting at a three. Taking a look at the SDO, we we do have a coronal home forming in the eastern limb heading towards earth facing direction. We should see the effects from this solar winds on October 6th through the 7th. And quickly, I wanted to talk about already some record breaking snow. Over the weekend and into early week, we had some record snowfall in Montana. We broke a single day record and a two-day total in certain spots of Montana. Uh, one, for instance, Harvey, Montana, 15.8 inches over the weekend. They broke their two-day total record, which was 12.6. 30 inches fell in Rocky Boy, Montana. 18 inches fell near Steamboat Springs, Colorado. 16 inches fell in Cameron Pass. These are records that are being broken from some from 30 years to up to 100 years old. It's only the beginning of October and we've seen record cold and record snowfall already where normal spots, early snowfall in October normally means about an inch or so and we're already looking at blizzards in the Northern Plains and in the Northern Rockies. Now from snow to hurricanes, here's Mari. Thanks, Jake. As of today, October 5th, Tropical Depression 16L, now named Nate, has strengthened into a tropical storm near the eastern coast of Nicaragua. The system is expected to move across northeastern Nicaragua and eastern Honduras today, producing flooding rain and strengthen into a hurricane before it makes landfall on the U.S. Gulf Coast on Sunday, October 8th. And for an update on the volcanoes, uh, we have a new update, Mount Cinnabon on the verge of eruption as it hits the same danger level as Bali. Mount Cinnabon could be on the verge of an eruption after terrifying new pictures show huge plumes of ash continuing to spew from its summit. The latest images taken from nearby Raman village in North Sumatra come as officials raise its volcanic alert to the highest level possible, meaning eruption is possible within 24 hours. Huge clouds of ash and steam were seen billowing from Cinnabon for miles around yesterday, prompting fears that the strato volcano could be ready to explode. People living in the area have been warned to stay at least 7 kilometers away from the volcano, which killed 10 people when it erupted earlier this year. And on the nearby tourist hotspot of Bali, experts have warned the island's massive Mount Agung could blow at any minute. Some 140,000 people were evacuated from the area in Agung, which is on the same alert level as Cinnabon earlier this week. Hundreds of earthquakes have been recorded around the 300 meter tall volcano in recent days. Magma, Indonesia says, this could be due to molten rock flowing close to the surface. Volcanoologist Dr. Janine Kripper said the seismic activity around the volcano was not slowing down and the potential for an eruption is still high. We'll keep you updated on Grand Solar Minimum. Back to you, Jake. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us today. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.